Good morning, everybody. Shlama Mohon. This is a uh, simple circuit back to basic. It's an inverter, sine wave inverter. Now the uh, principle comes from the literature on um, timer 555. I'm definitely sure you have seen all of these diagrams before. What it's made of, it's very simple electronics. And um, this electronics then feed the transformer. This transformer originally came from electronic amplifier, which I took apart and I use it for this project. It's a simply six volts that converts it maximum to 40 volts. Um, I've selected a, um, a sampling rate of pulse width modulation based around about 40 kilohertz which suits this transformer but anything from say 20 to 40 kilohertz should be all right the main reason for that is that the uh, transformer will appear like a low pass filter at this um, higher operating frequency so the 50 hertz power will go through it quite nicely and um, it will appear as a typical sine wave there's a capacitor there one microfarad and the purpose of that is to help a bit extra to shape the 50 hertz sine wave okay now uh, back to what i've done down here i've got a um, a meter which actually will um, monitor the current going from the battery to the electronic circuit itself and um, also, I'll be monitoring it on the oscilloscope. In a sense, I'll check the sine wave, the quality of it. And also the voltage that's coming out of it can be measured with the uh, voltmeter. Uh, what I have is a, um, a load which is in the form of a fan which operates between 220 and 240. And I've got some lamps which are the, also operate between 200 to 240. I've got some switches, some typical GPO power outlet which the fan is plugged into and also some power switches for the light for the whole thing to be switched on and switched off and uh, then I'll show you as how the load um, will actually be increased each time that you switch a light on. Now okay let's have a bit of um, check as whole thing as it how it works it basically has got a, a mosfet h bridge and you have the timer in there which does all the pulse width modulating and uh, right now we're in a position as to put the um, power on and uh, see as how everything will function okay right now i've got the battery all set up as we can see it's a 12 volt battery it's got 7.2 amp hours and um, so I'm ready to turn the power switch on which at the moment is the first button there the black one marked and we're gonna see a display that will come on the oscilloscope um, here's this oscilloscope and here's the electronic board okay we're gonna put the power on there's a switch okay there's a bit of current going through at the moment which is mainly the circulating current in the transformer in conjunction with the capacitor but that's fine okay let's go and look at the oscilloscope now okay 50 hertz at the moment this circuit board has been designed for 50 hertz but can easily be modified for 60 hertz all right so um that is the um i know the there's a bit of flickering on the oscilloscope unfortunately it's not a storage oscilloscope so that will be flickering for a while like that okay now we're gonna put the uh, power on and uh, this switch uh, the first switch we're gonna put on is the um, light switch 
there's the light switch and there is still the um, the oscilloscope 50 Hertz same level no difference hasn't changed much now we're gonna put the uh, fan on there's the fan it's, it's nicely blowing air okay going back to oscilloscope just to check the waveform it's still there sine wave okay now we are about to in increase more uh, but by the way as we increase the um, load the current also goes up at the moment we are at nine 1.92 amps okay which is taken from battery now we're gonna put the other light on current has gone up okay light off current goes down and the fan is on now we'll just switch off the uh, fan signal is still there okay I'm gonna switch off the other light we are back to the main circuit it's a very simple circuit it's um, as I said is back to basic using a simple pulse width modulation as per what they have in the literature okay um, right now we can see that the um, magnet of voltage is 233 volts this is what's been set by the potentiometer down here now I'm gonna increase the load to the next one next light on Still relatively close what I've got is an automatic um, sensor that detects the level of voltage and adjust accordingly okay and the sine wave is still on it's quite good the presentation of that okay so um, this okay these are just the um, wavelength for half the cycle the other negative side of the sine wave also has got modulation of its own but because this is only a two channel oscilloscope I cannot show you the other one but um, obviously as I stretch the time base you can see that there are in fact pulses running through these are the pulses that represent the uh, modulation for the sine wave I hope you enjoyed the project and if you want to make anything similar, please send me an email below this video description. And um, I've got my email address there. And for a very modest fee, I can send you the actual circuit diagram and explanation as how the whole lot works. Thank you for watching.